there is no harm in being single at 30. It's a bit a bit hilarious. It's <coughs> it's a, I can't accept it. You are above 30. You are above 35. You are in 40s. Single, broke, not spiritual, scattered. That's a, a sin. If you're in those age, if you're in those age range, singleness is not a problem. You people, there are things that will take them to be like they matter a lot. And especially when other people have reached in that stage, they feel they have reached. But what about if I would ask you, Welcome back to our channel. This is Immaculate Show. So the question that is here is not for only me. It was asked by the young lady, but it might be also pinching a young gentleman that is in his late 30s or early 40s or mid 30s and is asking, would you advise that person to go on a date or you would advise that person to go to the altar direct. Now, my take was this. There is no harm in being single at 30. But, how are you using that period of your singleness? Are you using it to, in, to impact your life? Are you using it to impact the, the public? Are you using it positively or you are using it negatively? So here we go. It's a bit a bit hilarious. It's <coughs> it's a, I can't accept it. You are above 30. You are above 35. You are in 40s. Single, broke, not spiritual, scattered. That's a, a sin. By the way, it's a big sin. <laughs> that is to me. But if you're in those age if you're in those age range, singleness is not a problem. You people, there are things that will take them to be like they matter a lot. And especially when other people have reached in that stage, they feel they have reached. But what about if I would ask you, how do you see it? You're married at 30, 35, and you're broke. How do you see it? You're married at 30, 28 years, and you're divorced. How do you see you're married at that age, but you're always crying under your pillow when you come to the public, you lie them, you pretend, you show off that everything is okay. I will not accept brokenness. However much it says in poverty and in riches we are be together. Yes, do it. If it is okay that God has ordained you to get married at that age, it's okay. Go ahead. But be active, be productive. And it's not yet happening. Don't throw your hands, don't throw your chest, don't throw your everything to men because you want to get married. You want to be considered in men. Just imagine, you're single. It's a sin to be single at that age and you're still broke. I'm not telling you, you might be working hard things are not coming up. Being broke does not mean that how much amount of money you have in an account. It means what are your plans, what are your projects, what are your goals? Do you show up to your goals, to your projects on it every day? This is the time God has given you to prepare yourself. Imagine a man who is going to take that lady at 35 and you're not a beggar. There are some ladies, most of us, have thrown ourselves into men's arms, into men's proposals because we want help. So it's not a sin to be single at that age. That is if you're still waiting on God. We have seen a lot of, of circumstances. We have seen a lot of people that have thrown themselves in the hands of men because they are single. Not because they are single, they want to get married, but because they want help. We, I have stories whereby men, even single mothers with children, have run to women, to men, because they wanted money for accommodation, because they want money for makeup, 
they want money for 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 travel they want money for upkeep that's what i'm saying it's a sin but look at this you're single but your projects are going on your man is there are you serving god like the way you're supposed to do are you in your calling perfect are you running your projects perfect are you sleeping around no that's not a good zone, a no good area. When men come to know that you are that age and you're sleeping around, by the way, you will even find at that age people are throwing themselves to any man because they feel time is up, time is up. Who told, who told you that time is up? It's not up. My answer is, yes, you're single at that age, but are you broke? If you're both, better look somewhere. If you're both, better sit down, relax, think, rethink. If God has made you to wait, do something that is profitable. Be someone. Don't go around begging. So, to whoever who asked me this question, being single at that age, coming back to the real question, I don't feel at 35, at 30, you should go for dating. No. Unless if you started the dating circle before. But this is the time to break it if you know you started it before with that guy and you are now growing every day, every day. No. Know the guy. Know him well. I know... When Nais says, the ones who think they know much, they are going to start saying, who are you to talk about this? No, I'll talk about this because I know what I'm saying. It depends on what God has ordained for you. Don't sleep around and you feel you're going to make that guy take you to the altar. If this guy wants to take you to the altar, he spots you, please. That age is not for dating now. I'm sorry to tell you this. And I'm not advising you badly. It's not for dating. That age, if you know you're not broke, you're productive, you've been working on yourself, you've been working on your projects, you're a God-fearing lady, you're moving around, you don't go begging for one dollar. To men, you don't go to clubs to, to wait for men to hook up because you're still single. No. Listen to the Holy Spirit. Listen to God and know why are you single. By the way, <laughs> let me tell you this. There is someone who was telling me. By then, I think these are 10 years back, she was my sister. She got worried because it would take a month without a man saying you're beautiful. You look nice. Can I take you out? She would say, my God, it's like I'm not okay. Men are not looking. No. It's not like that. But of course, as women we are, if you take one month, a one week, a man is not saying, hi, Christine, you're looking so hot. You're beautiful. What are you using? Check up yourself. I'm not saying you're going to be like these people who are turning themselves from black to yellow. Even it is no longer yellow, it is being reddish and other things because you're, you're going to be hot. No, it's not the color that makes you hot. There are a lot of things that makes a woman hot. So, single ladies, single gentlemen above, eight, uh, above 30, uh, 30 years, it's not bad to be above that age when you're not yet married. The only thing is, how do you handle yourself and why are you not? Are you turning men away? Has God spoken? If he hasn't spoken, if the men are coming and they are not the right men, then those are not your men. Don't throw yourself to men because you want to be counted among the ladies who are married. <laughs> then we have some couples immediately after marriage, those are problems. And you say, no, it's the devil fighting them. No, sometimes we don't go to our own ribs. Do you want to be at 30 and you're divorced? What is the use of that? 
so please young lady i will not put your name here you asked it from me i don't know whether it was from good intentions or bad intentions but at 30 and above i don't encourage you to date for a long time however much christians don't allow dating when I say dating, I don't mean you don't go to sleep around with a man. By the way, a man, it takes the grace of God when he has slept with you to marry you. There are very few who will do that. So, at 35, and I'm not telling that you get him and he says, I love you, Christine. say, yes, you love me, take me to the altar. That is disparity. That man for you is there. It's not a sin. But the big sin is, at 30, 30 and above years, you are still single and broke. You are still single and still begging for rent. You are single and begging for transport fare. You are single and begging for data. That's a big sin. So, my lady, if you know this message was okay, my gentleman, if you know this message was okay, please go down and hit the subscription button. If you haven't subscribed for us, like comment give us what you think what should a person do when he's already at 30 and above years should he go for dating or he should go straight to the altar i summarized all this did you watch our previous video eight signs of a woman who is ready to be your your wife or the mother of your kids kindly go and watch that video thank you very much this has been christine on immaculate show don't forget to bring in your questions like this one. Because, and thanks for giving us content. In any way you ask these questions, they give us content. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.